hey everyone and welcome back to our channel in today's video we are diving into part two of our miro series and this time it's all about how to create wireframes so whether you're designing an app a website or just want to sketch out your ui ideas wireframing in miro is a fast collaborative and surprisingly powerful now, if you missed part 1 where we covered Miro basics, especially in creating a flowchart, be sure to check that out first. Okay? So, let's jump right in and start building some awesome wireframes by going to the main homepage of Miro. Again, if you haven't already, you might want to click the sign up for free. This is a perfect opportunity if you don't have an account yet here in Miro. You can sign up with Google with an office 365 account or slack and then you should be able to access the mirror platform with no problem now for us to create a wireframe all we have to do is go to any of the following templates right here okay you can start with flowchart mind map quick retrospective but i highly suggest you click the create a blank board or if you want to explore templates that would be one of the best option for you to create a wireframes how as you can see if you type in right here wireframes what will happen is you will be given 28 templates for you to use as a wireframe okay so you don't have to create from scratch you have low fidelity wireframes mobile app wireframe template but my suggestion is to click the app wireframe i want you to click the preview button so you would have an idea what is an app wireframe is all right so it allows you to display the interface elements of your mobile app product teams can use it to outline the structure and the functionality of the app illustrating the user flow and inter interaction between components now if you're sure about this i want you to click the blue button to use the template you would be forwarded here now since we have reached the limit of three editable boards you need to upgrade to the create a limited editable boards now one of the uh, workarounds for us to be able to create a wireframe without upgrading to a subscription plan I want you to go to the boards right here since i have created a uh, previous video about creating a flowchart using miro i'm gonna delete all these so to give room to our wireframe okay but i highly suggest if you don't want this hassle you might want to go for the upgrade plan okay so that's one of the easiest way with that in mind we're gonna create again the explore templates and remember earlier we type in wireframes we went to the app wireframe and click the use template you will be forwarded to the template or app builder itself all right so the template is loading and at this point it's very important to know that you if you are having problems accessing the mirror you might want to use a vpn right now you see that there are like primary buttons on this side of all uh, things you have the primary button you have the copy let's try to click the preview button all right and then exit for now and there is a section to show the device if you want it all right so let's do that on the plus button you can use any tools that you wanted you can put in the card code block frame and grid now this is going to be what exactly is the app wireframe the three dots give you the options to view it on board catch up right here or click the view option you have your scroll bars object dimensions if you want or enter full screen if you wanted all right so you have that here now this is going to be you have like three objects you have a shape and wireframe the wireframe is highly customizable depending on your preferences for example we're going to move this you can make it a little bit bigger and then there is a three dots here where you can create a frame if you want if you do 
you can choose to create a slides within the frame make it a little bit bigger and that all right we're gonna put the stop from this and go to the app wireframe itself click the view section again and exit full screen We're gonna zoom out so we can have a better look of the iframe. And then for example, this you have like 55 objects here. I'm gonna drag this just so we can see a better look of our iframes or our wireframes here. And you can copy a create option for here. If you don't want to show the device, you can do that. But if you want, I highly suggest you click on it. Now you can basically move this on on the sign so it's not intervening and creating an instructions right here you can move any of the following on the side so you can have that and then once you are happy you also have an option here for the tools wireframes for the templates you can also access the wireframe if you want right here there are multiple options all right you click on this if you want to you reuse it again for the template you can do that okay so there's no limits on using the app wireframe now again at this point the loading times may vary depending on your um, connection and then once you have loaded the app wireframe for a mirror i want you to go to the present frames okay so this is entirely your worksheet if I say, if I'm, I must say, you have the option for the tools right here, sticky note. You can put in a sticky note here, maybe just around here. And then click the stop button if you want to stop the presentation. Now, if you're happy with the app or from that you have created, I want you to click the share button. You can enter the details of your team members or even your clients using Slack google or microsoft depending on your preferences you also have an option to give them access as a viewer commenter editor and no access now the next option that i am going to show you is when you go back to the sign up section for example if you want to sign up with your google account during the account creation okay if you don't want to use any of the wireframe template the new feature here for Miro is that you need to follow all the instructions. Questions 1 to 5. For example, this one right here. Choose an option. Say product management. I'm a director. Continue. All right. Now, we're going to skip this for now. Skip step. And then what will happen is you will be forwarded here. Now, there should be an option for the wireframe app or app wireframe here if you can't see it you just have to click the start from scratch and it's the same process as earlier you can choose the following template for the wireframes okay and that's it for today's video thank you so much for watching guys by now you should have a solid idea of how to create effective wireframes whether you're working in a website mobile app or digital product remember wireframes are all about structure okay and communication before the design magic happens wireframing is essential because it saves time reduces confusion and keeps your design focused and user centered whether you're using tools like figma balsamic or just good old pen and paper the key is to iterate test and refine so what's wire wireframing tool do you prefer drop your answer in the comments below would love to hear what works best for you if you found this video helpful do not forget to like subscribe and hit that notification bell so you never miss out on our future tutorials thank you so much for watching we will see you again in the next one